This is set 3804 from 1994. This is the Western Buckboard. You can see she has a, uh, a belt, a gun. She has a rifle as well that she holds. It's right here in the back of the Buckboard. She looks pretty damn cool. This boy here is dual wielding two revolvers. The little girl has a revolver as well. And the female has one revolver. The bandits try to rob them, but look at that. They just got the situation under control. This is a pretty neat little set. It comes with a little pony. But here's the thing about this pony. Unfortunately, you cannot ride the pony. That's the only way you can ride the pony. By having, you know, it doesn't, it's not very, it works. But it's like, you will fall off and... It doesn't really do much. There is also a dog. This is the female. One of the things that you cannot do. I'm not complaining. I'm just observing here, okay? She cannot ride horses because she has a dress on. She has a, a belt. She has long hair, a silver necklace, a cool hat. Here is them again carrying their loot. They just robbed a bank in the Wild West days. Now they're carrying that heavy crate full of money. And this bag here... If you look at it, on the side, you can actually grab the bag and carry around. I tried to put the bag inside, it does not fit. But the dog does fit. It doesn't fully close. If you push the dog's head as low as you can right there, it doesn't fully close. So you have to push the dog down pretty harsh in order to kind of close. See that? This buckboard here, it has a spot for your rifle in the back. Look at that, that's pretty cool. This area here, you can put anything, really. You can transport all of those boxes, bags, whatever you have. The seat does not lift, so you don't have a secret compartment in the middle or bottom or anything. There is one side area here for the whip. Under it, you don't have any suspension system. You just have this front wheel that turns left and right. And then on this side here, you do have suspensions on the seat. See how it goes down here. The rigging is covering the eye for both of them. It's dark brown. Overall, it's a very unique, cool-looking buckboard. You still have the lady here, fully weaponized. And here is the set with all the accessories removed. You get a whip, a rifle, a bag of food or rice or beans or grains, the crate or chest, a small hat for the girl, a hat for the little boy, a hat for the female, a puppy dog, pony, a little horse, five pistols, and of course the buck, buck wagon or buckboard. The female is very pretty. Look at her face. She has some makeup on. She has a necklace, a very cool looking intricate dress with some vests in there. Girl, her bow tie is not removable. And there's the little boy, he has a white collar that is not, also not removable. It's the puppy, the head goes up and down. Head also goes up and down. I don't know why we have a pony in the set, but he represents a family, I guess. A family of horses, a family, the, the mom, the kids, the dog. And the boy here, the gentleman, rides on the horse. He, he cannot really ride a horse, his legs are not wide enough like an adult Playmobil. But it fits there. He, you see, he doesn't, he doesn't fall. Just don't, don't, don't push it down if you have this set. It will break his legs. And here is just a comparison of a buckboard and an actually wagon, a carrying wagon. It has four horses pushing it. It has all these intricate details, and it's an actually encased little room where you sit four people, two on each side. Then look at that, we have the bank wagon, the fortress for the money, next to the large stagecoach right there. Stagecoach, bank, national bank, fortress, and buckboard. And since we're doing this, might as well also have the Civil War. Playmobil made a lot of carriages, look at that, these are absolutely awesome. The colors, everything, it just adds up to a collection for sure. It's missing the Civil War cannon horse, cannon carriage thing. So here it is, right here, now we have all of them. Place all together, look at that. 